Let's go to the book of Hosea. Hosea chapter 14. Hosea chapter 14. Verse 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. The last five verses of this chapter. This chapter has only nine verses anyway. It says, I will heal their backsliding. I will love them freely. For my anger has turned away from him. I will be like dew to Israel. He shall grow like, a, like the lily and lengthen his roots like Lebanon. His branches shall spread. His beauty shall be like an olive tree and his fragrance like Lebanon. Those who dwell under his shadow shall return. They shall be revived like grain and grow like a vine. Their scent shall be like the wine of Lebanon. And Ephraim shall say, What have I to do anymore with idols? I have heard and observed him. I am like a green cypress tree. Your fruit is found in me. Who is wise? Let him understand these things. Who is prudent? Let him know them. For the ways of the Lord are right. The righteous walk in them, but the transgressors stumble in them. Well, obviously this message is more toward Israel than to anybody else. Because the book of Hosea actually speaks about many things concerning Israel. The anger of God concerning that nation and then the restoration and the love that God has given, uh, that God has toward Israel. Because and actually in this book, God calls Israel his wife. Now, As we read in these five verses, how can we apply them to ourselves? We understand that Israel is going to be restored. We believe that, we know that, and we pray for it. But what do we see for ourselves here? I want you to picture exactly the things that I've been talking to you 10 minutes ago. Before we took an offering about the vision that we are moving toward. I want you to see yourself in these verses. Because as, as, long, as long as you live on this earth, God is still blessing your life, touching your life, working on you, and doing things. Is that right? So look at yourself, put yourself into these verses and find out what God is going to do. I'm just so looking forward to, to the time when God is going to do something greater than yesterday. And I think, I, ha I think, I believe, even if when God will pour out his spirit and give revival and we're going to see thousands of people come into Christ I'm still be I still be asking God to, to give more because there is always not enough for us when we know what the devil does in this world there's n never enough for us to have more of God Knowing what the devil is doing in this world. And I'll be crying out to God even for more. When we're going to see revivals. And I will increase. I mean. Unless God himself will stop me. Say that's good enough. Well done my faithful servant. Go home. 
whatever. But in our heart, because of the passion and the power and the strength of the Lord, we will ask for more. And I know that. Amen. Amen. But we are not asking for ourselves, right? We are asking for God to be revealed and let His glory manifest in greater way, in more passionate way. Let all people know the Lord and the power of His resurrection. When we come to the point of satisfaction, we are satisfied, beautiful, that's it, no more. That's the way I want to be. That's the way, that's my limits. Thank you, Jesus. God is going to stop. Because he doesn't push himself on anybody. Says, you want that? That's fine. But you see, I've seen so many things what the devil has done in people's lives and in this world that I don't want to stop to conquer it. Are you with me? Amen. I don't want to stop to conquer Satan. God already conquered him. But I don't want to stop asking God to release his spirit that we will see people flooding come into Christ. Being healed, delivered, set free, all kind of things, just like heaven. Oh, Amen. Amen. Because honestly, I'm tired not to see it. Thank you. Amen. Amen. We're all tired not to see it. Amen. And imagine when God is going to release, we're going to ask for more. We're going to ask for more. Amen. It's just like a good food. We, we have limitations here. But when it's, when it's good, you ask for, 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 for another plate. Let's read this again. God says, I will heal their backsliding. I will love them freely. For my anger has turned away from him. All right. God said, I will heal you. Not necessarily that you are a backslider. But God says, I will come and I'll fix things up. In your life, in your midst, I'm God. I'm jealous. I will do what you ask. Amen? Amen. I will come with fire and visit you. And I will love them freely. It will be such a release of God's presence. I will love them freely. It's going to be such a relationship. It's going to be such so powerful. I really believe that God himself is waiting upon this thing, which is that the doors of the church will be opened wide 24-7. People will walk in, get healed, say free, delivered, move out. Another portion comes in and like that. Like that, like that, like that. It's God's clinic, cleansing clinic, amen? This is the kingdom of God. This is the kingdom of God. When people are waiting outside on the street, yeah, the critics will be there. Of course, the devil will send them, but they will be defeated. Hallelujah. Amen? Amen. Oh yeah, this is the church. It's not going to be just one concert. It's going to be flow and non-stop movement. Because this is what God wants. If you have the vision for that, God is going to give. Amen. Amen. I will love them freely. Freely. And my anger will be turned away from him. Amen. Amen. Turn away. I will turn away every obstacle. Everything that is hindrance right now. I will turn away. I will destroy. And I'll pour out my spirit. Over your life. Imagine what's going to happen to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, if God says it's not just he's going to bring this. But he says I will be myself. Myself will be like a dew to you. 
His presence is going to refresh you all the time. His presence will be, will be visible. You can smell it. You can touch it. God is going to be here. Well, think about this. He shall grow like a lily. God's work is going to blossom. God's work is going to blossom. Amen. So I'm not asking for small things. I'm not asking God, Lord, give me this um, little community here. I'm asking God for the country. Caleb asked God, you know what he asked God for? Lord, give me that nation and that mount. Let me conquer them. Just give it to me. Allow me to have it. He was over 80 years old. He was not asking for pension or investments. Well, Lord, give me a nice nursing home to finish my life. He said, give me that mount and the nation. Lord, conquer through me all that is evil in your sight. Amen? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God can do this. God can do this. He says he will be like due to Israel. He shall grow like the lily. And length, lengthen his roots like Lebanon. His branches shall spread. I don't know how about you, but I see the church differently than it is today. I see, I know some pastors, the friends that I encountered with, some elderly people, 74, 75 years old, the devil is threatening to close the church, to take away the place, to scatter the people. And he says, I don't know what to do. I said, well, just brother, we just need to trust God. There's nothing he can do. I don't see the church of God like that. Even in a country where the, the, there is a persecution of the church today and in past, they were big. They were powerful. They stood together. Amen? Amen. They never fell apart. This is the church, the people, amen. amen, where the power of God is moving, where the move of God is incredible. That's the church, not the building, not the building, amen. amen. It says, his branches shall spread, not shrink, shall spread, because Jesus said this, listen to me, Jesus said this, if you abide in me and my word abides in you, you shall bear much fruit. He says, you, will, you shall bear a lot of fruit. And Jesus was not specific about that, but much fruit, it means a lot of souls. The church was powerful at the beginning and it will be powerful at the end. That's what God is looking for to rebuild, to do it, to restore it again. Amen. God says, I will heal their backsliding. I will heal it. I will fix it. I will bring these things to pass. It's not by might nor by power, but it's going to be by my spirit. Hallelujah. It's going to be by my spirit. I am alone, God says, will do this. Just trust me. Just keep trusting me and have that vision. I am the might before the sword, the tremors in the spear shaft. I craft my ways from blazes of fire storms, absorb the failings of deadened ends to render the floors I dance upon. I am the spaces between applause, the roars of hearts running through heaven's halls. 
I breathe the forms of light and silence. Stall the course of cosmic riots. I am the glory of the giants Manaslu, Sagomatha, watchmen of the Asian plains. They yield my name. Made famous through the cries of albatross flocks inflamed in Pacific fires. I am dressed in the spray of Nevada dunes, clothed in the shadows of Sahara caves. I am the light of lunar flames, fleshing the rains of Amazonia. I paint the trains of Antarctic quests, release dominion to desert Panthera. I authorize the remains of Aztec and Inca that bloom through the visions of mountain tribes. I ride the skylines, breathe the signs, ignite the paths of astronomy's eyes. I am the unheard, heard in the storms that burn on my words. I am the yearned for, I am the word. I emerge deciduous from the wetlands of your cries, rise through the moments you wake. I bring the dawns that shake the fevers from your remembrance. I am here, I am imminent. I am he who crosses the plains through which you strayed. Discover the parts extinction seared. I dust away the dried remains of tears. Drain the lakes of your regrets. I wet the wells, till the soil, forsake the toil, quell the rages, sow the broken pages with my belief in you. I bring the you you have never quite met. I am the desire that keeps your pillow wet. I am the heartbeat you seek when you chase after dreams. In the reachings and sighs, you are looking for me. In the body touching body, it is me you seek. In the groans and the longings, it is me you seek. In the yearning dream, in the need to be seen. In the love me, love me, it is me you seek. In the breath drop wonders, gasping hunger. In the touch of a stranger that makes you feel younger in the books and the fables in the this is me labels in the is this me is this me in the hear me hear me say my name in the touch me find me need me find me in the aching pain in the love the music the beats the taste in the heat and the need and the need for embrace in the color the gaze the meaning the desire in the flame of the voice and the spirit of the fire when you cry for more my name you weep i am he who waits for you to reach i reach for you and wait when you lie half broken and awake i am the watchman of your sleep i wait and wait till the shakings cease i am the truth they call release when the darkness flares and starts to speak, I sculpt the shades of daybreak. It is me you seek. Dance with me, O Lord God. Oh, 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 oh,
will go You are my love You are my fair one Winter is past And the springtime has come Dance with me all over of my soul To the song of our soul Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless His holy name. Who forgiveth all our iniquities. Who healeth all our diseases. Hallelujah, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. His 
joy comes from above. I will bless the Lord and His holy name. Jesus set me free from sin. Healed my everything. I will bless the Lord and His holy name. Jesus set me free from sin and healed my everything. House of David Jewish Messianic Ministry is produced and sponsored by viewers like you. We appreciate your support, which is allowing us to continue to broadcast our programming. Thank you, and God bless you. Shalom.